We need to know and be reminded today, you and I have no righteousness of our own. Discouraging, but oh so encouraging. It's freeing and good. Here's why. Here's why for us to know this truth that Christ has given us to embrace it. Satan is even lying to us today, making, seeking to make us question God. I was just sharing with a dear brother, someone I, I love dearly in the Lord, who is a young believer. And they were struggling with guilt because they don't read their Bible. And so they're starting to question whether they knew the Lord or those things. And I was saying to them, listen, I don't read my Bible to build up my account of righteousness. I am righteous because Christ has made me righteous and nothing can snatch me from his hand. And I will be righteous because he is righteous done. I read my Bible because having trusted in him, I want to do what he says. I read my Bible because you know what? I'm a sinner and I am prone to foolish things and I will wander over here and I need some discernment because sin destroys me. Sin kills the goodness and I don't want it. But I'm not righteous because I read my Bible. You are not righteous because you came to this church this morning. You are not righteous because you wear your clothes in a certain way. You are not righteous because you keep certain things. You are not righteous because you don't keep certain things. If you are righteous this morning, you are righteous because you have put your faith accurately in the finished work of Jesus Christ upon his cross, and nothing can be added to that nor taken from that. And you need to walk in the freedom of that, serving him because he is worthy. That's it. That is all that there is, that is the gospel, that is the summary of what the law points us to. We are righteous because he is righteous. Love that, live that, enjoy that. 